What's up guys, this is David here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer over files from your computer to your Windows phone. So I'm going to show you how to transfer music, pictures, and video through the Zune player and also how to transfer over your Office documents through SkyDrive. So I'll go ahead and open up my Office really quick and show you that I only have six documents in here and I'm going to add a whole bunch more just to show you how it works. So I'll go ahead and hop on my computer and show you each method for doing this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is transfer over media files to your computer via the Zune software. So go ahead and open up Zune on your computer. As you can see, I have it right over here. And connect your Windows phone. So I went ahead and connected my Windows phone, and you can see it recognizes it as the HD HD7. So whatever type of Windows phone you have, your Zune player should recognize it once you connect it. Once you've done that, you'll be able to transfer over your pictures, songs, or videos over into your library. So I'll go ahead and transfer over a song that's not currently in my library from my documents. So I'm going to go to my documents, go to my music, and this song right here is currently not in my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it right into my media library on the Zoom player. You can see it's been added. It's saying one items were found and adding media. Now if I wanted to sync it with my phone, I just drag on this guy and drop it right on that phone icon. So I drop it, it says, added one song successfully. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the same process works if you're adding a song, a picture, or a video. Um, a media file is basically a media file. But let's go ahead and show you um, what happens when you try to add a Word document. So for example, let's say I'm trying to add a how-to uh, Word document that I have right here uh, titled how-to. So let's say I'm trying to add this guy into my Windows phone. I try to drag it over to my library, and you can see it's not going to let me. It has that little sensor icon letting me know that it's not going to work. I drop it, nothing happens. So the way you actually sync your Office documents with your Windows phone is open up your web browser and go to www.skydrive, so skydrive.com. Hit enter, it loads up. So go ahead and enter in your Windows Live ID and your password. So I'll go ahead and type in my ID really quick. Go ahead and type in my password and log in. Once you have logged in, you're taken to this screen. And from here, you have the option to add new documents or, or office documents. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add that Word document that I was trying to add earlier. I'm just going to tap Add Files right here. And for example, let's go back to that article, tap it, and you can see it's being uploaded now when I hit Open. So it's being uploaded to my SkyDrive. So I'll go ahead and open up a few, or add a few more. So I'll just add, um, let's see. We'll just open up or add a whole bunch of these. So I'm holding control on my keyboard and I'm clicking on them. Uh, so that way it highlights multiple at the same time. Hit open and you can see it's uploading all of them. It's done and this should refresh in a second. There you go. So now that it's been added to my SkyDrive file, I just have to make sure it syncs on my Windows phone. So let's go ahead and go back to the phone. All right, so we're back on the phone. First thing I'll do is show you that the song that we transferred over did indeed come on the phone. So there it is, 3P, as you can see. Um, like I said, it's gonna work whether you're transferring a song, a video, or a picture. And let's go ahead and go to the Office app and see if the documents we uploaded transferred over. So. What you're gonna do is go under locations on your Office app and tap on SkyDrive. And as we can see, the Word documents that I uploaded to SkyDrive have synced with the phone and they show up right here. And again, uh, this works regardless of whether you're transferring a Word document, an Excel document, or a PowerPoint document. But that's pretty much it. This is Dave from phonebook.com. Thank you for watching the video. And if you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebook.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.